Hey, hey. Cryptic put an end to ships like this that claim to do 200k and can't get through Battle of the Binary Stars normal without dying. Through the new private queue system, you can select any of these that are here. Right? So if I wanted to do Infected or any of the others, I can find the name and switch it to advance and start a private queue. Some of them even got elites added to it and you can go into it by yourself. Now to give you an apple apple comparison, I am Soul Keeper here at 189 and change. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show that run real quick. Right, and then we're gonna see what happens when Soul Keeper. This is the layout of his build right now. So I'll do a separate video for this ship, but I just want to put up what he had on the ship when he did 189. Okay, and everybody starts up. The thing with the parser is it kind of jumbles up people's dps so you are going to get jack dps at the beginning and if you have a tank or a science officer or two tanks one set up to heal you and the other one set up to debuff well then you're going to score if you do 100 dps you're going to wind up with 300 dps so this happens a lot and it happens a lot with streamers who are don't understand what they're doing actually because i've spoken to a few of them they don't get it like this guy right here i am going to you see that big jolt i just got of uh, power that's the science guy he is debuffing that target for me so I'm not really doing that 40, 50 K damage there. I was actually being helped out. And right here, there's an electrical damage. So a torp spread gave me a whole bunch of extra kills before I move on to the next one, right? And this is what we're used to. We're used to seeing this and this is it. This is the person's DPS. Oh, they're a grandmaster. Um, yada, yada, yada. Okay. But it's really not. Like right there, I have an electrical debuff helping me out. I have the science dreadnought is helping me out there. So I'm doing a lot of damage. But because the target's being debuffed, by other people and I just died there <laughs> but I'll come right back this is an aspect when you watch a video that's usually not explained it's usually not explained that it is a nanny run or um, you know my tanks keeping me up things like that if you can do it on your own, then it is your true DPS, right? So I'm probably, am I canceling it out before he gets it? Yeah. All right. So right there, I just stopped the combat log reader. Boom. Operation complete. Now, this is infected advanced with me doing it on solo. If you notice, my attack consoles have changed. This way I get some healing. And look at that. 140k and change. So now, when someone shows you their DPS chart and shows you the run, if they're by themselves, that's actually the numbers they're getting. Okay? I happen to have on this ship, uh, I think it's, yeah, the phaser lance and the inhibiting phaser omnidirectional, which debuff targets for me. 
So that's okay. Because I'm not doing anything that any of you can't. You know? If you have the same gear on the ship, it's going to perform pretty much the same. And if you're a better pilot I, than I am, it's going to perform even better. But I'm so glad they put this into the game. You know? I see people like MC Stu, uh, Teacher Kirby. Uh, I, <laughs> I honestly see them growing by a lot with this. Me, not so much. You know, I got my issues. I don't, I don't put out videos every day. But I can see the people that are in the game 12, 14 hours a day making solo videos like this and showing you what your ship can do with that gear and when you get an explanation for it it's an act it's a real ex explanation it's accurate they're not it's not their ego talking about how much dps they did when they didn't do it you know the 140 you see on this is 140 I did so and the two tech consoles those three tech consoles excuse me those are from the colony every time you hit a tactical ability if you attack it heals your ship all right so I have the Komarashi Muru and of course I have the Nimbus fleet and those are my buddies what you're seeing is what my ship can do on advanced with the build it has. If you're wondering why I switched to TAC consoles, I couldn't get through this without dying three to eight times. Uh, I did phenomenal DPS, but I couldn't stay alive. Um, another crowd I see benefiting from this is the pvp players which those of you that uh know me know i really do believe pvp players are the best players in the game um because they not only build for uh dps but they're built for survivability and maximum damage quickest control flight turn rate off the hook you know, so casual SOB is one of them. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of his PVE builds, but his PVP builds are off the hook. I'll try to link a few channels below for both PVE and PVP, but this is a wonderful thing because it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's shitty of a person to put up all these numbers and make people think hey I need to spend a thousand dollars on the game to get something done you don't there are ways to play the game totally for free but it takes months and months and months to do and to acquire all the ships that you need for those traits right this is a no hands barred this is what my ship can do with the equipment it has and you know an explanation if anything but i think i'm holding on pretty well for a ship that actually has the least amount of hull points in the game <laughs> but it can hit like a it can hit like a semi truck I mean, it's got five forward th to aft. It is just a little beast. I'm getting hit by the gate, so I'm kind of getting ganged up on. But yeah, and I, I suggest you guys try out your builds. Maybe don't set these things to advanced or elite. Set them to normal. See what your ships can do on normal. You know? Because I will be putting out a video using a private queue 
um, for my free-to-play character that is nowhere near complete this week. I promise. All right? But I thought I'd get this out there and show you guys that now you cannot be lied to. If you got two people in a private queue, maybe you can be lied to. But if it's somebody saying, yo, I got four, I got 900k damage, and they're in solo in one of these, that is the DPS they're actually doing. They're not lying to you. And I would support that channel 100%. If you launch the game through the Epic Game Launcher, that is my supporter creator code, Silly Sus Sage with the dashes. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, leave a like, follow me over on Twitch because I play a lot of different games. Peace, y'all.